Hello, beard product lovers. My name is Dan C. I am the trusted teacher for all things beard knowledge related, as well as family, lifestyle, and overall male role model. And welcome to this channel. Today we will be reviewing a different kind of product that has never been reviewed on this channel before. And that is the Boss Man Beard Jelly. A lot of you know it and love it. And I've actually had this since the beginning of my bearded journey. It was one of the very first products I ever purchased. And I've used it all along, but I've just never had a review on it. So I want to talk to you guys today because we're always talking about oil, balm, butter, co-wash, wash, bar soap, everything else beard related, but I've never really brought up beard jelly. And I'm going to let you know everything you need to today about this different kind of beard product. So please stay tuned to learn a little bit today. Company, a little bit of information about Bossman. To be honest, I don't have a ton of information about this company. I've never spoken to the owner. I've never even interacted with the company whatsoever. I purchased a four ounce bottle of beer jelly right from the beginning and I've acquired three others since. What I do know is that they have an owner that has a great reputation. I've never interacted with him, but everyone I've talked to says they have great customer service, they have great support. I've never had a problem and they've never reached out to me, so there's just been no interaction there. I do know that they are out of Austin, Texas, where we have a lot of these major beard companies in Texas really kind of dominating the game right now, which is really cool to see. I would love to visit Texas one day, and my dad has spent a lot of time in Dallas and in the area surrounding in Texas. I just have never been. I'm not a huge fan of heat, but I do love the history behind Texas as I teach early American US history. So I think that would be pretty cool to visit there and check out all these beard companies along the way. But great reputation, all natural products. That's about all I got for the company today. If you have anything you wanna add about the Boss Man Company, just leave a comment down below and we can get the discussion continued in the comment section. Price, I write every company on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating basis. And the Boss Man Company, specifically with their four ounce beer jelly, gets a one dollar sign price rating. This is one of the best bargains, one of the best value prices out there for four ounces of product that has literally lasted me six to eight months, somewhere in that range, and I've used not even the full bottle, is $14.95. $14.95 for four ounces of quality product. This is amazing. I had used this for every night for months, and I still had not gone through the whole bottle of my first one, which was magic. $14.95 for four ounces of product. That is one of the absolute best deals in the bearded community for a all-purpose, really useful type of product. So absolutely a one dollar sign price rating bargain for you guys. All right guys, I've brought in the backup, the relief pitcher, the beauty, a little bit of excellence in there. My beautiful wife, Sam C. Hi. And Sam, today we have something kind of different. Uh -huh. And this is beard jelly, beard mm -hmm. jelly. So now what I use beard jelly for is a switch up at nighttime routine. Okay. Normally I wear beard butter at nighttime, but if I want something quick and I want it to last all night for the hydration, I wear okay. the jelly, um, but it's a little bit oily to wear during the day. So oh, with that nice. thought in mind, think about what kind of scent you'd want laying next to you at night. Okay. All right. In the mind frame. All right. And so we have blue, red, gold, and Stagecoach. <laughs> they okay. all have, yeah, they have <laughs> names too. They got they got different names on there, but uh, that's what we got here. Okay, which one would you like to start with? Dealer's choice. Okay, we'll go Magic. This was the first one I had, and then I, I remember got all this. Three. That was one of your first yeah. beer products ever. One of the first things I bought was this Magic beer jelly, and I wore it every single night, and uh, it's lasted a long time too. Okay, get your thought on scent here. What's the 
man. Okay. And I'm going to do the scent together for this one as well because we have four of them. This is a sandalwood. Is that read? Yes. <laughs> Bergamot. I didn't know where it was at. I was on the ingre ingredients. Frankincense and patchouli. Hmm. It's bergamot. Bergamot's like a nice fruit scent, I believe. What was the first one? Sandalwood? I feel like there's cedar in there. Yep. No cedar. No. Okay, so you get woodsy. I man. get really woodsy. Okay. I don't get any like florals or okay. anything out of that. Yeah. I don't like, like woodsy, so. Mm. No, not for you. Okay. Let's go with the red. This is the hammer. The old hammer. That's nice. Yeah, this it's is also, my favorite. It's also manly. Okay. This is lavender. Geranium and patchouli. Do you know what a geranium is? It's a flower. It is. Yeah, See, okay. this is my favorite. I like the lavender. I get a lot of lavender. And I love lavender at night. I mm. also feel like there's some sneaky man scent in there. Okay. Because those scents together should be very feminine. Yeah. And it's not to me. Okay. Do you and think it probably it's feminine? No, I don't. No, I yeah, think it's See? nice. Soft, but manly. But manly. Yeah. Where is that manly? Yeah, so that one's nice. I think it smells good, though. Yeah, that one's my favorite. Next is the yellow. The yellow. Does it have a name? Not that I... The gold, sorry. My colors are not oh, yeah. sophisticated. The gold. Uh, people who know their colors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got time for that in this busy life? All right, what you got here? It's pretty light smell. It is. So I'll give it's it to you. It is cedar wood, spruce, and lemon. Okay, lemon. Got it. Definitely lemon, gold. Lemons are yellow, Mr. <laughs> Boss Man. <laughs> I don't get a lot of the woody woodsiness that should yeah. be there. I yeah. get more lemon than anything. It's very subtle, very yeah. subtle. This is the, the lowest scent of all of them. So, not bad for night, though. Not bad for night okay. for me. All right. And then the stagecoach. I do believe this is their most popular one. And I'm not, okay. I'm not every guy. Other guys do wear these during the day. Okay. So it's not just a nighttime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that like a barbershop smell? This is sweet tobacco, aged bourbon, and fine leather. Is my sniffer off or are these not correlating? That no. smells like barbershop to me. Yeah, they don't match up 100% with me either. Yeah. They're nice. They're really I, good. This one is my favorite. Okay, even for nighttime, you'd like that lay next to you? Because I have not... Yes. Used, I don't usually wear this one. Yeah, I like that Okay, one so give this one a that shot. That one has the best scent It's me. very strong. Yeah, it is. Very manly, I think. Yes. Like, this I is... I just really like the manly ones. Yeah, this I don't... is very manly. Almost cologne-like. Almost. Yeah. Not quite. It's got what the, the what's in it again? Leather, sweet tobacco, and aged bourbon. Mm -hmm. I don't get any of those. It's I don't really a barber shop. <laughs> it is kind of a barber shop. I agree. It's clean. It's fresh. Yeah, but manly. And manly. Yep, definitely. Okay. <laughs> and just overall, when you're used to my balms and my butters and the oils, what's your initial impression, thoughts for a beard jelly and beard from someone who is not using it? What do you think of when you see this product for beard? Uh, I like the bottles. Mm -hmm. I think it's super cool. They sriracha stand top. Out. The old sriracha top. <laughs> and it's different because all these places have butters and balms and whatever else you guys yep. use in your beards. And this one's a jelly and you're like... Yeah, and that's what they are known jelly? for. jelly? Boss Man makes balms and other products, but their jelly is their That's thing. That's their thing? Yep. Okay. They're first to market I think it's on the cool. jelly. Cool. I really like the bottles. Okay. I feel like other people should use these bottles. Okay. All right. Thanks. There you go. Thanks. Listen up, guys, there. All right. So, overall, you really like most of them and you love the stagecoach? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't really like the lemon one. Okay. She does not like the gold scent, guys. No gold scent. Not surprising. And you actually didn't yeah, really right. like the magic either. Because of the woodsiness of it? Yes, that's okay. right. More woodsy than it okay. needs on. So, she likes the red, mm -hmm. second place, and stagecoach, and first. Yes.
and I think that would probably go with most women out there. Uh, Stagecoach is their most popular, and I know a lot of ladies I can see love why. this one. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Different take today, mm -hmm. guys, from Sam in our set for jelly. Yes. Feel. How does this product feel in my beard? This may be the most important segment of this video, so really pay attention here. Double-edged sword for me. First thing on feel, the hydration lasts all night. If you use this beard oil or this beard jelly at night, when you wake up in the morning, your beard is going to feel good. It's going to feel great. On the other side, because of that same quality, I cannot wear this during the day. My beard does feel greasy. When I wear beard oil, beard balms, I don't like to touch my beard and have greasy hands. I don't ever have that with the quality beard oils that absorb into my beard or even the beard balms. But with the beard jelly, when I put it in my beard, if I were to run my hands through my beard or even just simply touch them, I would have a handful of grease. And at night, that's an okay thing. It doesn't really go off on my pillow much. I use silk pillowcases, so it doesn't impact that. But I cannot wear this during the day because my beard not only feels greasy, it looks greasy. It looks like I have a wet beard, and I do not like that quality. I know others that wear it during the day, and I have tried. I've tried several times, especially early on in the journey, but I cannot do it. It is too greasy, but I do wear this at night just simply as a switch up from my favorite butters in the nighttime routine, but not something that I use on a regular basis anymore. So for the feel, there's some good there, but also some bad, but all honest. Reebok, would I purchase any of these beard jellies again or any of their other products? Probably not, to be honest. Nothing against them. I know people out there love it. It's just not for me. Nighttime, I am more and more and more going to butters and different kind of hydrating butters at night. And I only throw in the beard jelly on the lazy nights where I just want to be quick. I like to prepare my beard a little bit more, wash it out, shower to use a, use a beard butter. I feel more comfortable on the lazy nights just throwing in some beard jelly, waking up in the morning and then dealing with the beard from there. But no, this is not something that I would repurchase. And I did purchase these. These were not sent to me. These were not anything else. I did purchase these. I truly would not repurchase them, but it's no knock against the company at all. I know a lot of you love these beard jellies. You wear them day, you wear them at night, and you swear by them. I just am not big on the feel. So my question for you guys, leave a comment down below. Being such a popular product, number one, have you tried the beard jelly? Number two, if you have, what are your thoughts? Be honest there. I know some of you are going to disagree with me, and I love that. We always are respectful in our thoughts and opinions here, so let me know. And if you have not tried the beard jelly, after hearing what I've had to say and others have had to say, is it something that you are interested in trying? Let me know. I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts. I know what everyone thinks about oil and balm and butter. What are your thoughts on beard jelly? Thank you guys. I know this was a different kind of product today, but I hope you enjoyed the information and I sincerely hope you have an amazing day and are enjoying this awesome fall weather.